dogs. We love them. They give us so much. And the Scottish countryside is great to enjoy with our canine companions. But as dog owners, it's our responsibility to prevent our dogs from causing trouble in rural areas. And that means being sheep wise. People don't appreciate that the dog that curls up beside them every night, their loving, loyal pet, can in an instant turn into a killing machine. They're a prey animal and it just takes for one lapse of concentration for that dog to get in amongst sheep. They get the chase, they go into a frenzy, they don't respond to the owner at all. It's like they can't even hear them anymore, they can't see them. And once they start in amongst the sheep, the sheep run and it just escalates into the most horrendous nightmare for both parties. There's not a typical type of dog that will chase sheep, they all have the potential to do so. I would urge all dog owners who live near livestock to make sure that their gardens are properly secure. We do see some really very serious injuries as a result of dog attacks, particularly around the head and the neck, and skin is literally torn apart by the dogs when they grab a hold of them. At this time of year, in the springtime, the sheep are obviously pregnant and the stress of being chased can trigger them to, to lose their lambs and actually suffer a miscarriage. Whenever a dog's been in amongst the sheep, the, the, the lambs can become mismothered and that can then result in hypothermia, malnutrition for them and losses of young lambs that are separated from their mothers. I don't really feel that the dogs have done anything bad. It's people that are not just looking after their dogs and taking responsibility that, that are the cause of the problem. For the farmer, there's heartbreak and lost income. We came home to discover probably about seven ewes and, and maybe a dozen lambs just, just ripped apart. And it's just gut-wrenching. It's can't describe how you feel. The stock you've reared all year and, and see it's, it's not about profits, any farmer doesn't want to see things suffer. It's one of the most terrible things you can experience. And for the dog owner, there's dismay and potential criminal prosecution. To have to put a young, healthy dog to sleep, it's very upsetting for me, it's very upsetting for the owner, and it's totally preventable. Come to the countryside, but keep your dog under control and enjoy the countryside. Don't let your dog go into fields and become a killing machine.